Milk River is about an hour drive south of Lethbridge on a four-lane divided highway and just 15 minutes north of the U.S. border. The Sweetgrass Hills in the background are actually in Montana. About 850 people live in town with many more in the outlying areas. Here to greet you is T-Rex. And today, T-Rex welcomes 49 healthcare students from Calgary as they arrive at the Milk River Health Center. The students are from the University of Calgary, Mount Royal and SAIT. And they're here for a Skills Day workshop hosted by the Health Center, the Quad Municipality Physician Recruitment and Retention Committee, and RPAP. And then come out and grab in the bottom. It's a new skill set and it's, you know, you got to lay down the muscle memory of having to do new things. Do you go like underneath the white stuff or do you go... To the bottom of the wound. It's interesting to see people who've never done it before trying to do it. Not so long ago I was like that too, right? So. It was fantastic. I feel like I learned so much so quickly and I feel like all the skills that we're learning are going to be super relevant for our clinical practice, not only as future doctors but even right now as trainees. Students spend 45 minutes at each of the six skill stations. A lot of the wounds that we do see is the one that I'm teaching today, which is a, a pressure ulcer, otherwise known as a bed sore. I love Skills Day. I think it's one of the highlights since I started medical school. We were able to give each other IVs and we were able to do sutures and that's, these are different activities that we're not able to do every day. We shouldn't really race with our clients because you don't feel quite so secure, do you? Nope. It was amazing. We got to learn many skills that we wouldn't get to learn until later years. I really loved it. The students were so enthusiastic. We had some really good IV starts. It was a lot of fun and I hope we can do it again in the future. In the evening, the students are the guests of a community dinner where they hear locals praise the Milk River healthcare workforce. One of the best things about every time I've had to be in the hospital was the familiarity of the nurses. They know everybody that comes in that door. And a mother whose son was in a serious car accident shares her gratitude. We cannot thank you enough, each and every one of you. Sorry. Then things get scary. The students ventured a creepy hollow for a spooky adventure, including a frightening haunted house. <laughs> Sunday morning, skeet shooting at the Bornbrock's farm and ranch. After a few tips from Fred Furlong, it's time to let some lead fly at those clay targets. <laughs> also on tap this morning, trips into the valley to see the Badlands, a wild game lunch, and horseback riding. It was a great way to wrap up the first ever RPAP skills event in Milk River. Will some return to practice here? Before I came here, I never even thought about doing healthcare in a rural setting, but this experience has really opened my eyes to the positives and the advantages of doing that. The nurses here, they know so much and they get to do so much in, in all aspects instead of just one, one specialty. So I would definitely love to come here. Yeah, me as well. I'm very actually surprised by how mm -hmm. kind and generous and open and welcome everyone was. I really liked seeing the rural setting, how uh, collaborative and friendly the environment was. And um, rural medicine, in particular family medicine, has been something I've been really considering over the past several months. The ultimate goal is to trigger some interest in this rural community, that they are going to make some form of uh, connection with us and that they're going to say, you know what, I would like to come and see you guys again. And if we can get them here again, I know we're going to get them here permanently because it is such an awesome community.